Hey everybody, this is Ross. Uh, in today's video, I thought I'd give you guys a bit of a seedling update, show you guys how they're doing, what my plans are for these seedlings here. Um, you can see obviously now we've got them in the greenhouse. And then uh, we'll show you guys the cold frame because that's where they're gonna be going. I'm gonna be planting them actually quite soon. You can see that the sugar snap peas have done exceptionally well. I mean, look how beautiful they are. I had pretty good germination this year. Um, and then also you can see over here that I have the, the broccoli and the Brussels sprouts. They're a bit lankier than I'd like, probably because of the lighting that we had in, inside the house when we, uh, we germinated these. But I figured because we're getting, you know, this greenhouse off to a, a head start this year. Um, you know, we've turned on the heater for those of you guys who saw that video. We turned on the small space heater down here in the greenhouse and that's heating this and we've also we took the the tarp off the top um, so now we're letting some light come in and it's you know it's heating up through the day um, and it's also staying heated through the night um, then also the fact that there's just less stuff in here than there normally is I have uh, you know two pots stacked high of fig trees but normally we have like four or five so there's almost like even double the amount of trees in here, or there's half the amount of trees in here than there normally is. So I figure I have a lot of room and I can actually do some seeding this year inside the greenhouse. And I'm like, wow, that's awesome. I'm seeing a lot of great benefits out of this, obviously. You know, it's a lot less work. Um, it's a lot less hassle, right? I don't have to deal with lights in the inside the house. I don't have to deal with making a mess inside the house. Um, just obviously much better off doing it this way. Um, I want to show you guys the cold frame because we did beef it up. A lot of you guys had recommended to me when we showed you guys that video, uh, some improvements. And a lot of you were right. I made those improvements and it's looking great. Um, it's also really hot and really warm in there because the greenhouse is actually warming up pretty nicely. But mostly that's with the help of this heater. Um, but you'd be surprised, I think, even without the heater, how much during the day this cold frame actually gets heated up. And not only that, but the, the soil is staying really warm. That's really been the key. And I'm able to transplant those, those snap peas and the broccoli and the Brussels sprouts as soon as they fill up those cells in those trays. I don't really see a, you know, a time limit on all this. I think this thing's pretty much ready to go to be planted into. And you can see one of the recommendations that some of you guys had made was these kind of support the, um, the cold frame in the middle because a lot of the water, if it snows or if it rains, is going to collect on top of this and the uh, plastic's going to collapse. And actually, believe it or not, it did that. <laughs> I think it was Rocco that recommended that and one other person, but it actually did that literally the day after. And I was sick. I couldn't come out here and observe the thing and take care of it. Um, but uh, you guys were right, so I beefed it up a bit. Hopefully that's enough. I also added some like support in the back here to help lift the, uh, the plastic to give it more of an angle. And then I also wanna show you guys the inside here. So let me bear with me while I open this up. We also made an improvement on the inside based off of another recommendation, which is obviously brilliant and obviously how it should be. But you can see we've sort of wrapped the plastic from the outside, brought it on the inside, and then stapled it to the inside of the frame with a staple gun. And then someone recommended just get some trim and drill the trim, pressure treated trim to the plastic to give it some extra protection. That way this plastic isn't really coming off the frame here. Um, or at least it's quite difficult for it to come off. But you can obviously see, I mean, I've been noticing quite a big difference in just the last few days that I've had this, this cold frame all together. These plants are really starting to take off and it's really all in the soil temperatures. If I put my hand in here, touch the ground, even just to, you know, touching it with my hand, the difference is quite uh, extreme. Uh, I have to get a thermometer to know for sure, but I would say it's a good 10 to 15 degree difference um, in just soil temperatures alone. 
So I'm pretty excited, you know, that's, that's really what's going to happen here is that we've got the seedlings in there. Um, you know, everything that I want to uh, start this year in this cold frame is going to get started. It's off to a good start. I'm pretty happy about that. Um, it's also sort of got me thinking about potentially what else can I do in this greenhouse? Um, I'm thinking about doing some citrus trees, bringing them from, you know, inside the house, putting them in the greenhouse. Or even next year, I can get myself a couple loquats. Um, I can get myself maybe a few more tropical trees, guys, and really strongly consider trying that again, like the citrus, but even more tropical than that. And then having them fruit for me, you know, earlier in the year is really the goal. Things like the citrus can fruit for me throughout the winter um, or even in the spring, in the very early spring. Maybe even the low quat the low quats can do that as well. So I'd be interested to see if I can do that in the house for most of the winter and then bring them out when I take the, the, the cover off the greenhouse, put the heater on. I think it'd be a fun and interesting experiment. And I'm sure we'd have pretty decent success. So I want to thank you guys here for watching this one. Uh, check out our blog on figboss.com. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram and hit that bell button down below to be notified uh, for our new videos. Take care, everybody. We'll see you soon.